How would it feel to live in a city that's one single skyscraper stretching 170 kilometers across a desert? No cars, no suburbs, just one continuous line of mirrored walls and vertical neighborhoods. That's the line, Saudi Arabia's ultra-ambitious future city. And right now, it's under construction. Don't forget to subscribe. We're about to explore its rise, its challenges, and where it stands today. In 2021, Saudi Arabia unveiled Neom, a $1 trillion futuristic megacity. At its heart lies The Line, a vertical city imagined as a continuous city wall slicing across the desert. The goal? Rethink how urban life works. Replace sprawl with linear density. Cut traffic, reduce emissions. Officials say The Line will be built to house up to 9 million people. A high-speed underground transit system will let you travel end-to-end -end in 20 minutes. Everything is designed to be within a five-minute walk. Everything except the megastructure itself. The idea isn't brand new. Debates around straight-line cities go back decades. Neom originally floated the concept of long corridors in the desert, but not so extreme. Then, in 2021, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman revealed the line in full detail. It came with sleek renderings, mirrored towers, rivers of green inside, zero cars, and renewable power. At launch, many thought, wow, but can they build this? Now we're seeing signs of real work. It's planned as two parallel walls, each 500 meters tall, 200 meters wide. Between them lies a core with vertical layers, neighborhoods, services, parks, everything stacked. Beneath the city runs the spine, Subsurface transit, utilities, freight. Above, mirrored facades reflect sky and rock. It's meant to disappear visually. No roads on the surface, no cars. Transit and walking only. Zero carbon operation is the target. The full stretch is about 170 kilometers from the Red Sea inland. A direct route means building full corridor straight across desert terrain. But that's hardest, deep land, fewer natural anchors. An alternative, stage by linking via intermediate zones, like hills or ridgelines, to break it up. That method would let construction proceed in segments. Either way, the ambition is enormous. The desert gives little margin for error. Some projects use tunnels, think London Channel. Some are bridges, like large overpasses. For the line, most design is above ground, a giant vertical structure anchored to desert terrain. It's not a typical bridge or tunnel, it's a hybrid skyscraper. But in some segments, e.g. valley cuts, mountain crossings, tunnels or buried passages may be needed. The engineers must balance cost, geology, and climate. Either option adds to complexity. The height, heat, wind, all fight against you. At first, the line was pegged near $500 billion out of Neom's $1 trillion budget. Many investors balked. Financing such a leap is bloody hard. By mid-2024, reports said the project was being scaled down. Fewer kilometers, slower pace. Some insiders project just two to five kilometers built by 2030, not full stretch. Saudi officials deny major cuts, saying progress has shifted, not halted. But even revised timelines push full completion to 2045, not 2030. In 2023, Saudi's sovereign fund wrote down $8 billion on mega projects, including Neom, citing delays and cost overruns. They broke ground April 2022. Satellite and drone images from 2023 24 show a massive trench running kilometers across the desert. Foundations are rising. Heavy machinery, concrete pours, steel frameworks are underway. As of early 2024, over 90 million cubic meters of earth had been moved. Think dozens of pyramids worth. Walls haven't yet shot up to full height, but the skeleton is forming. The focus seems to be the central core. Build a showcase stretch first to prove the concept. In early 2025, Saudi officials still publicly target large parts operational by 2030, though many expect only a tiny segment to be ready by then. 
Building this much steel, glass, and concrete in the desert creates enormous CO2 release. Some estimates put it at 1.8 gigatons, equivalent to multiple years of a mid-sized country's emissions. A continuous mirrored wall may block wildlife paths, confuse birds, and fragment habitat. If the main high-speed line fails somewhere, parts of the city could be cut off. Desert extremes, shifting soil, frequent sandstorms, and high temperatures challenge construction and materials. Inhabitants of tribal areas were relocated aggressively. Some local critics say evictions were forced. A few protesters faced harsh legal consequences. Many megaprojects in history ran wildly over budget. If the line does too, credibility takes a hit. Will people want to live in a mirrored canyon? Even a beautiful one? Will the social vibe match the ideal? In the next five years, we'll likely see vertical wall sections rising, at least in the central stretches. Expect the first neighborhood module to open, housing, commercial, transit, in limited scale. They'll test key systems, climate control, cooling, underground transit, utility routing. Environmental mitigation must kick in. Corridors for wildlife, shade structures, reflective materials optimized to reduce heat. Infrastructure tie-ins, roads, water, power, AI systems, city controls. If all aligns, partial occupancy might begin near the 2030 mark. Full stretch? That's likely 2040s, with expansions calibrated by funding, demand, and performance. The line may be one of the boldest urban experiments in human history. It's not just a city, it's an argument that future cities will be vertical rather than horizontal, that infrastructure must evolve, that human life can shrink in footprint while expanding in reach. But there's no guarantee it succeeds. If this works, even in part, it could rewrite how we think about density, mobility, nature, and sustainability. Cities could be lines, not sprawls. But if it fails, due to cost, engineering issues, social fractures, it becomes a cautionary tale. So what do you think? Is the line a blueprint for the cities of tomorrow or a $500 billion wall in the desert? Would you want to live there? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're curious, I can make a video comparing the line to other futuristic city projects. Just say the word. Thanks for watching and see you next time.